Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another video in my updated sticker collection um, and organization series, I guess you could say. And this one is the one that I think I might be the most excited about filming and it is taking a look at my reusable sticker album. So this is from Sugar Pop Fizz. I picked this up a while ago and then I did pick up the dividers as well. I'm not sure that the dividers are something that are necessary to be 100% honest with you guys, but it just has reusable sticker paper inside. And this has been the newest addition to my sticker collection. Um, this is where I've been decanting a lot of like samplers as well as kit extra. So I'm not just holding on to extra pieces with, you know, extra pages with, you know, like five or 10 stickers on them. So without further ado, let's take a look inside. I can kind of walk you guys through the organization. At this point in time, I am debating um, if I want to do more of a binder format where I can move things around. But as of now, this is what it's looking like. So the first couple pages are just leftover icons and character stickers that either came in samplers or that I had like one or two left on the page of. We can zoom you in a little here. Um, so this is what they look like. These are like Carly Plans cars that came on things. I have like some Wonton and a Million stickers, Coffee Monsters Co. We've got quite a variety here. Like I said, some came off samplers and then some I had sheets that just had like one or two things on them. And then I did also decant some Planner Kate samplers that I have from a while ago because they were a weird shape and they didn't fit in my collection very well. Um, so this is what the next page looks like. Honestly, not sure that I'll ever use that sticker because that's huge. So usually when I'm pulling stickers, I try to pull from here first and then I go to my character sticker collection next. So I recently got some more samplers and got all of that decanted. So this is as up to date as it's probably ever going to be. I'm very caught up in my organization right now. I'm very happy with that. So um, that is the last page. And then I have the same with scripts. So just random ones that came on um, samplers or in um, foil kit bundles as well like some of these down here and like the sparkly hollow you can see that all match as well as like these and then this page is where I typically start pulling stickers out for spreads so these are leftover stickers that I thought I was going to use in previous spreads but didn't but um, I feel like I have common stickers that I'm using all the time so I, I just kept them out and I am starting to pull stickers for my next plan with me here so that's why there are a few up here usually what's up here is what I'm using currently for a plan with me and then down here is extras that are left over from other spreads that I pulled um, too many of on accident next we have all of the random full box overlays that I have I thought this was perfect because now when I'm like oh I feel like I could use like a cool overlay box I can just pull from my collection I love this teal foil I'm like trying to make sure you guys can like see a look at that it's so pretty um, but just so I can grab them, these are all off of like samplers. So thought that that was handy. There's a birthday one back there too. And then these couple pages are empty. These are extra. Watch I got in um, a grab bag from Glam Planner for like her A5 inserts. And I found that I can use them in spreads. I just turned them down to fit. So I have those and then some extra washi and date covers from SPC that I only used half of the washi in a spread there just for me to pull from. Um, and then, like I said, I think I need to move things around because I have a ton of extra here. This is my um, extra functional sticker collection. So with that, I decant anything that I think I could use in spreads in the future. If I'm going to color block and need more of one color or something like that, um, that's where this section comes into play. So I recently got these all in a grab bag from Glam Planner. Those are empty. Here are some um, like full boxes with all the days of the week on them. Here are some more boxes, some flight trackers if I need them. And then I tried to organize this by color. Originally I was putting everything in, but I think I've decided now that I don't want to do patterns. So I do need to pull some more out and just save like the solid colors that I could match together. So these are the pinks. And then we have the greens, the blues, love this color blue the grays more greens because I kind of am starting to overflow in a lot of these sections which is why I wish I could move things around a little bit easier to put light colors together this is like a um reddish brownish pink color these are all from like a glam planner anytime kit that she released that had it was a mystery and it had these fashion girls um so these are all left over from that but easily could do another spread with those oops something is stuck okay there we go these are more of the 
grays or tannish colors. Then we have some blacks here, more oranges, more purples. These are like yellowish browns, more yellow, more yellow. And then blue is my favorite color. So I feel like it's inevitable. I saved the most blue kit scraps. Um, so blues, more blues and even more blues. And then in this next section, I have extra fashion girls and full boxes that I think could go with other spreads. Um, so here is what I've held on to. Definitely things I think I could use in future spreads if I do need an extra box. Like these are from the same one. I think I could pull that in okay. Um, and do like one, two, three, and have four extra boxes for a spread if I wanted to. Um, these could be used in like a 4th of July spread. I feel like these fashion girls show up in like every glue and plate or grab bag ever. Um, and then some wedding boxes and some old boxes from a mystery that I think I could also use in future spreads. So really just trying to hold on to things that I think I could use again in the future. Um, and in addition to that, glitter headers is the other thing. So I save any glitter headers that I have three or more of one color because I could do one column of. So here is my collection. I need to start pulling from it a little bit more. I don't know if I'll ever use these, but I did save them since I had partially used them. Um, but I've been putting those in here too to pull from. If I do need like to pull in a fifth color or want to pull in another color or something like that, I could pull in some of these and then go back and find some boxes that match as well. So I really like this. I think it's really compact, which is really nice as opposed to having just a bunch of miscellaneous sticker sheets. Um, I had like a pile of sticker sheets and it just was not working for me. So really overall happy with this. I am kind of wondering about moving to a binder kit format where I could hole punch and just add more sheets and then keep all my like colors together. But I'm not sure yet. Let me know if you guys do something similar and use a re reusable sticker album how you kind of go about doing that or adding more pages if you need to, for example, with like all of these extra blues with the rest of the blues being up here, um, kind of what you do there for your collection. Let me know down below. I'm always open to recommendations, but I think that this has been a big game changer for me. And overall, I'm really happy with like the functionality of it. I do just wish that like, even with character stickers, I could add another page if I wanted to in here. So that is it for a look at my reusable sticker album. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're not already. And as always, I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.